Hello friends, my name is Viraj. Today, in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to convert your back file into a zip file in ASP.NET and C Sharp. Back file is basically your database backup from your SQL server. Just we will convert it into a zip file. So let us begin with our tutorial. So I've already created a project. And now we'll simply add a web form. Go to the add new item. Simply add a web form. After that, go to your design toolbox. Just I need one simple button control. Now right on button control just click on your button control go to the property here right convert back file into zip file double click on it now just start writing your code that is string as file to zip is equal to at the rate double inverted semicolon we have some back file in our C temp folder that is C temp back. Here I have stored my all my backup file of my database. Just simply copy that, paste here. After that, we will write here string array. One is equal to directory dot get file open the bracket semicolon it's directory d I R E C T O R Y. Just simply add using system dot I M. Just copy the string and paste here. Then for each loop for string name in your array 1 whatever the file are present in this folder will be taken one by one so for that I have applied and loop then right here string file name is equal to path dot get file name open the bracket close it inside that write the name of that file will be stored here then string as zip file is equal to at the rate double inverted semicolon we will store 
all over this folder here just simply copy that slash double inverted inside that plus here we will store our file name dot zip now right here using bracket file stream slash f stream equal to file dot open open the bracket then write inside here zip zip file comma file mode that is create then open your curly bracket inside that right here g zip stream Just simply add here using system.io.compress it will be added here obj object here new get g zip stream open the bracket close it then f stream comma compress mode dot compress semicolon then byte array bt is equal to file dot read all bytes open the bracket inside that write the name semicolon again write here obj dot write open the bracket bt comma zero comma bt dot length semicolon then write here obj dot close open bracket close it obj dot dispose open the bracket close it after that we will simply run our project now you can see there is no file in my zip folder but after that we will find here file zip file of this back file so our project is running sorry we have not given any label control so just simply add label control go to the property for color green after all right here label 1 
dot text is equal to success fully done now run our project semicolon now click on convert back file into zip file so it is successfully done now you can see file back file has been created now let us unzip some so as we see our zip file has been created in this temp zip folder and this is the backup of my original back file here you can see so in this way you can convert your back file into zip file in asp.net and c sharp such kind of applications are used for backup purpose for example if you are taking a daily backup by using your window batch file or shared or whatever and uploading it into your google drive or your one drive whatever the drive you are using for your storage purpose so for that you have to convert your back file into the zip file for that conversion you can use such type of a code and you can upload daily backup into your respective drive whatever you are using so such kind of uh, application for example you can create an windows service or web service whatever you want depends on your requirement for for that you require your requirement is for conversion of your back file into zip file so there can be a multiple file which are stored in your particular folder just you have to take that file back file and simply convert it into the zip file for by using your gzip string so hope you really like this video this is a small video so don't forget to subscribe my channel and please even share my channel i need your support to grow in this platform bye bye